You used to work, William, as, a, as an aide on Capitol Hill uh, for a Long mm -hmm. Island uh, mm -hmm. Democrat. Um, I wonder what you make of, uh, of the, the state of the Democratic Party at the moment. And um, there's a lot, of, a lot of chatter over the past few weeks about Hillary, about the state of Hillary's race, um, Hillary's campaign. Not all of it positive. Yeah, I was a political science major, and I interned on the Hill and uh, in the House for Tom Downey from Suffolk County, great man, and um, uh, run some, served on the board and and, uh, and run a couple of nonprofit political organizations. Uh, I think this cycle is fascinating. I think it's really remarkable. I think Trump is right at the, the heart of it. I. He, he, I have such mixed feelings about Donald Trump. I, I understand why people like certain things about him and don't like certain things about him. I, I don't think he's presidential. I don't think he's electable. I would not vote for him. I would not support him. I have met him personally. He's pretty tight with my brother Stephen, and he's done many, many lovely, wonderful things for people uh, and, and put out a lot of good energy in the world, and he's put out a lot of bad energy in the world, too. He's been very unkind to people. Um, I think he's great for the process. I think it's great for Trump. I think it's great for... Why? Well, I, here's the deal. He's exposing something that's very... It's the most important issue of our times is how disillusioned and how disenfranchised the American electorate has become. People are sick and tired of career politicians. They're sick and tired of lifers inside the beltway. They're m more and more... Look at Minnesota. They elected Al Franken. They, ele they, they elected Jesse Ventura. People have been feeling this way for a long time. It's not a new concept. It's been going on since Reagan or before. And he's exposing a really raw nerve with the American electorate that they don't want these career politicians and they love the way he talks. I love the way he talks. I don't like or agree with virtually almost everything that he says, but I like the fact that he's a, that what he says, you can tell that it's his truth. It's not like which way are the political trade winds blowing. It's not like have we polled this 5,000 times. And he's not in the back pocket taking money, worrying about pharmaceuticals or insurance or agriculture or you know, the legal lobby, the gun lobby. He's not worried about stepping on the toes or hurting the feelings of, of the LGBT community, of, 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 you know, of Netanyahu in Israel. He's just sort of saying, like, look, this is my truth, like it or not. And I, I look at him and I say, we need more politicians. It's kind of refreshing. We need more politicians to be able to communicate this way. And they can't because the system is broken because of money in politics, period.